Good morning. It's Thursday the 19th of October and I'm working from home. I can't remember the last time I've worked from home. Um, I've still got a busy day, like big, big meetings that I'm attending, um, but it, it does feel nice just to be at home. I've already, I'm already just boiling the kettle for my second cup of tea and it's only just nine o'clock, so already I've had more to drink in, in a morning than I have in a whole day over the last few days. Um, yeah, hope you're all okay. Um, and I don't know how much I have to share as well today because I'm going to be attached to a computer all day. But when I, if I get little breaks, I'll come and have a little chat. It's a very damp day. It's not raining now, but it's just really wet. Um, I feel really cosy. I've got um, my jeans on and a jersey top. But one of my favourite feelings is having... Um, having things tucked in. I can't really bear any sort of skin exposed. So to feel, yeah, tucked in. I have a funny memory of um, my mum getting me dressed when I was a little girl and sort of tucking my vest in my knickers. And sometimes your, your vest would be longer, longer than your knickers. But just that feeling of all being tucked in makes me feel really nice. And then I've got my um, really old jumper. It's a bit of a scruffy, big old, it's not really got a good shape, but this is the Trescale jumper, but I do love it and it does um, does feel cosy. So yeah, I, I feel nice to be at home, but I've still got lots to do. And then I've got tomorrow off. So I always have that nice feeling of I've got a day off coming up, but I just still need to get things done. Um, I'm currently applying for a course and the application form is massive. That's stressing me out a little bit. I've just spent an hour doing that and um yeah, so, so yeah, I've got lots of bits and bobs just to tie up loose ends, but I'm really looking forward to my days off. So, yeah, back to it, and um, I'll catch up with you a bit later. Okay, bye. Hello, it's half past six, so not much vlogging today. Um, I definitely just had a day where I was at the computer, meeting after meeting. Um, I did get some cups of tea in, but not enough time to, to stop and do anything else. I think I had I actually had some food at lunchtime, but it's eating on the job, you know, you're doing something at the same time. So it's, it's just, yeah, it's a bit of a slog of a day when it's like that. I'm glad I've been at home though, that's, yeah, it's still nice. Um, but yeah, I'm, yeah, it, it's tiring, isn't it? Um, so anyway, I'm finished, finished for the weekend. I've got the dinner on. Um, I'm cooking chili con carne tonight. Um, someone has left a message about whether I call it dinner or tea. Um, and yeah, it's a funny, a funny thing. Um, and I suppose I definitely call the meal at the end of the day either dinner or tea. Um, yeah, I, I think sometimes I'm thinking when I call my family downstairs, tea's ready or dinner's ready, e either or. I use either of those words. But at, at lunchtime, so you know, 12 o'clock till 2 o'clock, that, that is lunch. I definitely call that lunch, I don't call that dinner. Um, and then afternoon tea is, um, our traditional afternoon tea is cups of tea with cake and scones. So yeah, it's funny play on words, isn't it? But I definitely say breakfast, lunch and dinner or tea, I don't mind. Hope that helps, hope that answers your question. Um, I thought I'd just quickly show you um, how I'm getting on with the Harry Styles cardi. I think I sort of shown you little bits um, last night, but like I say, I've been up since I think it was 4.56. Yeah, it's always literally just about five o'clock. But yesterday I um, I joined the yarn to create, start creating the rib. And I was saying to you that I'm doing a crochet rib 
Oh, and it's just lovely. So can you see those kind of ridges? And you get that by doing trebles into the back or the front of this thicker bit. So you, that's, that would, if you treble into that, it would be the front post. And if you go behind it, it's the back post. So um, like you say, you've got ribs at the back and at the front, but that's what gives you one front, one back, one front, one back. That's a bit like knit one, pearl one. That's what gives you that rib effect. Yeah, and I'm happy, but it's not um, long enough. I need to keep going with that. Um, oops. But yeah, I'll just, I'll just put it on just to show you. Just so you can see that rib definitely, you know, it brings it in. It's lovely. but still a bit short at the moment. I'm using a five millimetre hook, um, but for the squares, I was using an eight millimetre needle. So these are very sort of big and stretchy, but the rib is just a bit tighter. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. So I'm gonna carry on with that rib. Um, I even started making another square so I can start making squares for the sleeves. I am wondering what to do with the um, button band because again it gives a pattern for making two of them and attaching them but I'll have to have a think about that whether I again I do this similar kind of thing um, we'll see and the collar I've never done a collar like that it's quite a big folded collar and again you make that separately and and attach that so yeah we'll just have to see but um, I feel like I'm getting on really well and just seeing it all joined and with the rib just gives you that kind of finished finished feel um, I don't know if I've explained the inside you know this is not how I would normally tidy up my ends but the official pattern has these loose ends on the outside of the cardigan to kind of look you know rough and patchworky but I've not done that I've, I've kept it neat and tidy on the outside and just sort of tied them and knotted them with each other on the inside. Yeah. Oh, right. So, settling down for the evening, um, bit of crochet, bit of dinner, and then enjoying my days off. So hopefully I'll have a bit more to vlog about Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Okay, see you soon.